Hey and welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt the Printing Nerd and in this video you will learn how to install all the necessary software to get your V100 printer up and running. We will begin by showing you how to install Clipper on the Banana Pi and then patch the firmware of your SKR Pico to enable communication with the Pi via UART. Additionally, we will install all the necessary Clipper extensions required to use Input Shaper for calibration of the printer. Let's get started. In the first step, we will unbox the SKR Pico and prepare it for installation. To configure our printer with sensorless homing on the X, Y and Z axis, we will need to bridge all of the jumpers for the stepper end stops. Additionally, we need to add a jumper to power the board over USB. If you plan to use a BL Touch probe with your printer, you have to bridge another jumper for the probe configuration. This will allow the board to identify which device is connected to the probe port. Finally, we need to add a last jumper to unlock the bootloader. This is necessary to install the Clipper MCU firmware on the board. With the bootloader unlocked, we can proceed to flash the firmware in the later part of the installation process. Now it's time to look at the Banana Pi and be prepared for the worst looking soldering job in the history of YouTube. My soldering iron died in the process of making and I had to use a soldering gun with a larger tip. So yeah, this was the best I could do. I've double checked all the joints with a multimeter to ensure that any potential errors were not due a faulty connector. Okay, let's head over to Armbian's archive to get version 21.08.1 of their operating system. It's important that we use that version, since newer versions of the OS have a couple of issues that we want to avoid. After it's downloaded, we use the Raspberry Pi imager to flash the image onto the SD card. This takes a couple of minutes, so it's time for our first T. After the verification process is successful, take out the SD card and put it into the Banana Pi. Also, connect the Banana Pi through USB to your PC. It's important to use the inner USB port since the outer one is only used for powering the board. Wait a couple of seconds until the status LED starts flashing. A flashing LED indicates that the board is ready for a connection. In the next step we connect through USB onto the Banana Pi. I do this on my MacBook. If you are on Windows, you have to use PuTTY to establish a serial connection to your Banana Pi. On the first connection you have to set a root password followed by creating the main user for this board. Call it Clipper give it a password and we are ready to start the software installation. To make sure that we are installing everything as Clipper user, close the terminal session and start a new connection as Clipper user. Before we go further in the installation process, we want to establish a Wi-Fi connection. Armbian comes with an easy setup tool called NMTUI. Select your Wi-Fi network, type in your password and here we go. The star in front of the Wi-Fi network shows that it's active. Exit NMTUI and have a look at ifconfig to get your Wi-Fi IP address. For me, it's the one ending with 42. The answer for everything. So we disconnect the Pi from the OTG USB port and connect it to the DC USB port and wait until the LED starts blinking. Now we can use SSH to connect onto the Banana Pi through Wi-Fi. For Clipper installation, we use Kiao, a tool that automates the installation process. In the Clipper installation, it's important to use Python 3 as runtime. Also, since only one printer is managed by the Pi, select one instance. The installation process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Time for our next cup of tea. 
after Clipper is installed, we need to install Moonraker. Moonraker is used by Clipper to transfer G-codes through Wi-Fi. Without it, we are not able to send sliced prints from Cura to Clipper. So we install it, which takes another 10 to 15 minutes. And you guessed it, another cup of tea. And last, we install Fluid as front-end. I know there are multiple debates on which front-end is the right one for Clipper. Um, for me, it is, it is Fluid, because I'm used to Fluid and um, yeah, I will use it in this video and on the following videos, but uh, it would be perfectly fine if you use Mainsail as alternative. After a couple of minutes, the Fluid installation process asks you to install additional macros. Hit yes, and a couple of minutes later, Clipper is installed. Well, not really. With the basic setup, you will be not able to run Input Shaper, since the tools needed for Input Shaper are not part of the basic Clipper installation. So, let's install them. First, we need to install a couple of dependencies. Followed by NumPy. Here it's important to install version 1.18 since newer versions are not longer compatible to the dependencies installed before. This process will take about 25 to 30 minutes, so it's time for another cup of tea. After that process is finished, double check that NumPy is installed correctly. Time to connect the SKR to the banana pie. I use for this a micro USB to USB adapter with an USB to USB C cable. After a couple of seconds, both systems are booted and we are ready to flash the firmware on the SKR. We lock onto the Banana Pi, go into the Clipper folder and start the firmware building assistant. In the building assistant, we select RP2040 as processor and serial as connection type. After that, we quit the assistant. Back in the terminal, we compile the firmware. This takes about 3 to 5 minutes and after it's done, we mount the boot drive of the SKR, copy the new firmware onto it and unmount the drive to start the flashing process. While the SKR is flashing, let's enable UART on the banana pie. We do this by using Armbian config. Go to System, Hardware and activate UART free for serial communication. The assistant wants to reboot, but we decline this by pressing no. Now we unpower both systems, remove the USB cable, remove the bootloader jumper on the SKR and connect the SKR and the Pi through the serial cable. After we power the Banana Pi on, we open the Clipper web interface. There should be a red arrow message pointing out that Clipper was not able to connect to the MCU. Let's open the printer.cfg file and reference ttys3 as serial port that should be used for communication between the SKR and the Banana Pi. Also, change the reset method to command followed by a press on the save and restart button. And here we go. The error message is gone. Both devices are now able to talk to each other and are prepared for further configuration. So let's start building the brain of the 100. And while I'm building the electronic stack for the printer, it's time for you to get active. Hit the like button and write a nice comment about the step-by-step -step guide. Were you able to follow me? Mm, was there something missing? It's pretty hard to me to find the right amount of detail in such a guide, so hopefully it was not too boring for some of you. If you're the kind of person that prefers to have such an installation guide as piece of paper, consider becoming a Patreon. For my Patreons I've produced a written installation guide going a bit more into detail. So that's it for today. In the next video we will build up all the electronics, so if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. And now get out of here.